The Harry Potter books and the film franchise are responsible for making J.K. Rowling the world's first billionaire author. This means the movie made a ton of money, and they had some of the craziest scenes in movie history. And you just know we wanted to see them up close. So here are the Harry Potter most paused moments. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 10. Harry Slays the Basilisk This is one of the scenes that actually defined the Harry Potter franchise, and we just couldn't leave it out of this list. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry went below the dungeons of Hogwarts to actually find the Chamber of Secrets. In its death lied the Basilisk, a giant snake that guarded the area from muggle-born students. But Harry was no ordinary student. He had the sword of Gryffindor with him, and just as he climbed that giant stone statue, the Basilisk tried to swallow him whole. But Harry was swift enough and he escaped. It was at the top where they could finish the legendary battle, but there was a problem. Harry's sword slipped out of his hand and it fell down the head of the statue. Luckily, Harry managed to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, he actually managed to grab it just before it fell in the pool. And with one final strike, he pierced the head of the snake from inside his mouth. Needless to say, we paused the scene so we could savor every moment. Number 9. Dumbledore's Got Style This is probably the most representative scene of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And you know what? The only person we hated more than Voldemort was that evil Dolores Umbridge. She just wanted all of Hogwarts to burn. But now, if Dumbledore had something to say about it. You see, when they finally trapped him in his office, he was prepared for them. After all, you don't become the headmaster of the most powerful wizardry school in the world by being ignorant, now do you? Just as Dolores showed everyone Dumbledore's plan to take control of the ministry, they ordered his arrest and transportation to Azkaban. But in his own words, Dumbledore had no intention to come quietly. You seem to be laboring under the delusion that I'm going to, what was the phrase, come quietly. So before they could get him, the phoenix swooshed in and Dumbledore fiercely clapped his hands above his head. Just like that, he disappeared from sight. This is where the pause happened. We wanted to see how he did it, hoping that we could replicate his spell. But at last, we only wound up with red palms. You can't deny Dumbledore's got style. Number 8. Not my daughter, you This line has become a meme. It's become a classic and it's one of those lines that we just love in this movie. Even Julie Walters, the actress who plays Molly Weasley in Harry Potter, has said that she absolutely loved this scene. But that's not what we came here to talk about. We came here to talk about what happened after that line. After Bellatrix attacked Ginny Weasley, this is when Molly lost it and turned into one of the fiercest witches Hogwarts has ever seen. Even though Molly was weaker than Bellatrix, there's something about that mother power that allowed her to defeat Bellatrix. She zipped and zapped and froze her after just a few hits. Then she delivered that final blow. Not my daughter, you bitch. <laughs> when Bellatrix dispersed into a million pieces, we paused the movie. We love seeing that smug look wiped off her face. Number seven, Dumbledore versus the Inferi. If you didn't know how powerful Dumbledore really was, this scene will give you an idea. After Harry lets him drink from the dark fountain to retrieve Salazar Slytherin's locket, which was one of the horcruxes in the movie, Dumbledore is drained. The only thing he kept saying was, water. Harry tried to give him a cup of water, but every time he filled the shell, the water seemed to slip right out. That's when he decided to take some water from the dark lake. Bad idea. You see, this caused all of the Inferi to rise up and attack both of them. Harry was no match, and they dragged him to the bottom of the lake, but Dumbledore still had some strength left in him to scorch the living daylights out of them. As Harry looked up through the water, the entire cave ceiling shone bright from the flames. Dumbledore had used a spell so powerful he wiped out all of the Inferi with a single blow. And in the very end, 
There's this scene where Dumbledore seemingly splits that fiery inferno in half. So it was just magnificent. Everyone paused it. Everyone wanted to see it. Just a reminder, this was Dumbledore at his weakest. Number 6. Harry Soars with Buckbeak Since Buckbeak was one of the most powerful beasts of the forest, we had to include him on this list, especially since Harry managed to tame this proud creature with a single bow. Hagrid then told him to pet Buckbeak, but that's not all he had in mind. Just as Harry gently laid his hand on the creature's head, Hagrid picked him up, plopped him on the creature's back, and off they went. Buckbeak soared through the skies with the speed of lightning, while Harry clenched his back as tightly as he could. As he got close to the water, Harry got comfortable with the beast and the fear was gone. He let go of his feathers and extended his arms as the hypocrite spread his wings. This magnificent scene was just too good to see only for a brief moment, so he made sure to pause it. Number 5. Nagini's Head Chopped Off It was the final battle. Lord Voldemort and Potter extended their wands, and a gush of powerful magic beams filled the air. As the red and green merged together, there was one last Horcrux alive, Nagini. But he was after Ron and Hermione. While the undying snake was quickly sliding across the floor, he leaped for one final bite, a bite that would end Ron and Hermione, unless Neville Longbottom had something to say about it. He chopped his head off like it was his job, and there was no way in hell people would watch that only once. We paused, played, rewound, and paused again. You know why? Because this is when we knew Voldemort was finished. He was finally done. Number 4. Harry and Hermione Kiss We wanted to see if the actors actually kissed. When Harry and Ron wanted to destroy Voldemort's locket horcrux, they found it more difficult than expected. You see, this little trinket sees your innermost fears. When it opened up, it saw through Ron and what he thought of himself. Every negative thought and every doubt he had about himself came pouring out. This included stuff like the visions of Hermione and Harry saying to him that he's nothing and no one. And the most disturbing one of all, they said no woman would ever love him. After this, the half-naked visions of Harry and Hermione passionately kissed, but we knew this was just a vision. However, we all then remembered that they had to actually shoot this scene. So we ended up rewinding the video, pausing it, and watching to see if Harry and Hermione actually kissed. They did, and we loved it. Number 3. Ron and Hermione's First Kiss After the vision of Harry and Hermione kissing in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, we got to see the actual kiss of Ron and Hermione, something we've been waiting for since we found out that Harry would end up with Ginny. Now, here's how that scene went down. After destroying the Goblet Horcrux, the Chamber of Secrets filled with water, and a wave in the form of Voldemort's face charged towards them. After they barely survived, they got to kiss each other for the first time. And you just know this was going to be one of those most Paul scenes in the franchise. Not just the movie. Number 2. Voldemort Destroys the Barrier When a screenshot of this scene is used as a thumbnail on hundreds of YouTube videos, then you know that it's one of the most Paul scenes in the movie. We're talking about the time when Voldemort used the Elder Wand to destroy the most powerful shield guarding Hogwarts, and he did it with just one shot. Just look at how the shield exploded, and the sound effects coupled with those visual effects make this scene plain epic. This scene perfectly shows how powerful Voldemort is. Number 1. Harry Wakes Up we knew it was all lost. We knew there was no hope for anyone in Hogwarts once Harry and Dumbledore were gone. Harry Potter is dead! <laughs> and you know what? Longbottom never stopped believing. He knew that evil cannot prevail. He knew Harry would come back. Just before Voldemort killed Longbottom, Harry opens his eyes and jumps from Hagrid's hands. Our jaws were on the freaking floor. We couldn't believe what had happened. We had to re-watch this scene and pause it several times to comprehend what just happened. How was he alive? How did he not get killed by Voldemort? 
Anyways, at this point, we knew Baltimore was a goner. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, did you pause any of these moments? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.